What is up guys, my name is Harry Rice, welcome back to the channel, and today is the fourth edition of the Habs News and Rumors Recap. We are going to be talking about quite a few interesting topics. Uh, let's just get right into the video. Our first topic is Charles Houdon re-signing with the Montreal Canadiens. He signs a one-year $800,000 extension, and as you can see here in my projected lineups, I don't really have Houdon projected to be in the lineup. I, I'm assuming he'll mostly be a minor leaguer unless someone like, say, Armia or, or a Latinan, someone in general gets injured. Um, I'm just going to assume that Houdon is more of a minor leaguer right now, if that, unless he just stays scratched. But I don't know. Um, Houdon, I didn't I wasn't impressed with him too much last season, so I can't really say if I will, um, if I'll like him this year. I mean, I might. I hope I do, but I just don't see this signing as really necessary. Now all we have to sign left is Michael McCarron. Next up, Andre Markov is looking to return to the NHL. His agent spoke to uh, Sport24, I believe it's called. Yeah, he said, quote, I personally spoke with the main scout of Montreal and strongly recommend paying attention to Andre, at least out of respect for him. Um, this is interesting. Markov is 40 years old. If not, he's nearing 40 years old. He's uh, pushing, I believe he's 39 or 40. I'm not exactly 100% sure. But his agent uh, also said, uh, reportedly, that he wants $2 million uh, to return. And given that the KHL is apparently getting a salary cap next season, it's likely going to rule out a player like Andre Markov who's getting older in age. So I think a return to the NHL or the Montreal Canadiens in general is more likely um, more than going back to the KHL. Unless he just straight up retires, which I don't want to see. I would love to see him end his hockey career as a Montreal Canadian. But given that, does he have a place on the Habs roster? Absolutely. Uh, I think if you put him top line minutes with Weber again, or maybe if he signed before the preseason, you start him on various lines because Weber and Petrie are most likely not going to play during preseason, more than likely. Um, so Markov, I think bringing him back in, letting him rejuvenate himself during preseason would be great. Um, having him play a couple games, it wouldn't be anything too great, I don't think. But, of course, in the main season, you put him with Weber again. Those two had chemistry for the, I want to say, one year that they were together. They were really good together. And that's the year we, that's the last year we made the playoffs. Um, which I think that would actually send Mete down to the third line. Most likely playing with Noah Juleson, which would send Brett Kulak back to the, to the, to the AHL. Along with Carl Alsner, who we have an update with him, of course, as always. Andre Markov, while yes, he is 40 years old, I would like to see him return to the Habs and retire as a Montreal Canadian. Rather, we end up winning the Stanley Cup this season, or worst case scenario, finish at the bottom of the league, which kind of wouldn't be that bad considering Alexis Lafreniere is projected to go first overall, and if the Habs get that first overall draft pick, the draft's in Montreal, you never really know. Markov returning to the NHL. I would love to see it personally. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And next up, um, due to us signing Houdon, meaning I believe we have no restricted free agents left to sign, we've opened up our second buyout period, which means we have 48 hours, which actually start today, to buy out anyone that we would like to. Um, Carl Alsner, Dale Weiss, Jordan Wheel. I feel like Alsner is the most likely of those, um, whereas Dale Weiss, he's not on a very bad contract. He's not on the level of Milan Lucic, but it's still a bad contract. Um, I think that Dale Weiss being bought out would be very likely during this period, um, since he didn't play that well with Montreal this past season or with Philly in the past few seasons. Jordan Wheel, I do like him. But he's not needed on our roster right now. I feel if we buy out Jordan Wheel and then at the uh, next season or immediately after, if we can, get him at a lower contract, which for me doesn't make sense because you're just paying him more money while having his other contract on your salary, 
it doesn't make sense. Carl Alsner, I think, would be more or less the most likely candidate to be bought out. However, given that he would actually end up hurting us more next season, given the fact that he is, um, given the fact that he's going to, if we buy him out, he's going to have, I believe, it's $4 million on our cap again, and he'll only have 2.8 or something on uh, the cap this year. If I'm remembering, if I'm remembering correctly, I don't know if it'd be more likely to trade him. I think it would be personally, because if we can go out and get someone like, say, Chris Kreider and get a package deal for Kreider, I feel like that would be great. If we can package, say, Alsner, Wheel, uh, Weiss, take on uh, Kreider and someone else with a bad contract for uh, the Rangers, I feel like that would be good to do. However, of course, you're not going to get rid of get rid of Alsner, Wheel, and uh, Weiss without throwing in a good prospect, I think, if you're acquiring someone like a Chris Kreider. So the second buyout period, do I think anything will happen for the Habs? It's a definite maybe. And speaking of Carl Alsner, it's now time for the Alsner update. The second buyout period has started, which means Alsner may be bought out again. Will he? I don't know. I feel a trade at this point is more likely to happen with Carl Alsner simply because he um, obviously won't be on our roster given my projected lineups brilliantly given Philip Deneau is on third line minutes with um, Latin and Armia. I really think that um, Carl Alsner is likely to be traded, if anything, for a bad contract. I feel if you do something like, say for example, for some reason trade with the Boston Bruins to get David Backus for Carl Alsner, we're taking on a worse contract, yes, but for two less years, if I remember correctly, two ye- two less years. I don't know if that would work for the Habs necessarily, considering David Backus was a good part of the Bruins team that went to the finals this past season, and of course lost to the St. Louis Blues. Um... But David Backus, I can't see him coming to Montreal. Would I like to see him in Montreal a couple years back? Yes. Now, I don't know. If he can channel his inner three years ago, then yes. Uh, I wouldn't mind seeing him as a Montreal Canadian. But as of right now, no. Alsner, consider yourself lucky for now. And that's going to do it, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, favorite channel, everything, which includes a buzz not limited to YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, and everything else. My name's Harris. Follow me on Twitter. I'm going to start linking that in the description. Uh, I'm going to have my Amazon wish list in the description from now on, I think, if I can remember to do that. Um, yeah, I'm just going to throw up some random links in the description. I think that'll be fun. I'd say follow me on my Twitch, but I have really bad internet right now, and I don't think I'll be able to properly stream on there. Um, Ten Minute Gang Gang, I'm trying to get there. So yeah, thank you for watching, guys. My name is Hair Rice. Please subscribe join the Puff Club today. This is your number one Habs fan, Harry Rice, and I'm out.